Intermission describes itself as driven to tell stories that grab you and shake your insides. Revolt, she said, Revolt Again, does just that with its experimental and inventive collection of vignettes. This one says, stop being sexist, yeah? This one says, let's be equal, yeah? It's very immersed. You're not coming to see a show and this show and to look through the window. The show happens around you. It doesn't just happen on the stage. You are in it with us. Kirstiana Rosas and Carla Navarra are two of the actresses in the ensemble performing in the tiny, intimate space of Diversionary's Black Box Theater. One of the reasons this play was chosen was to incorporate that intimacy into the storytelling. In order to challenge the audience in a very direct and even at times uncomfortable manner. No! No! Go on! I'm not marrying him! Give it a go! What are you ready to do? Yes, but and I'm 12. So definitely the intimacy of the space is playing for our purpose. When you're not on the outside looking in, you're in this with us. That's what makes it so exciting because if you're not going to be up for it, then we're going to find someone who's ready. What audiences need to be ready for is a play that breaks rules to deliver a non-linear, multi-character narrative. It really focuses on all the taboo topics that everybody is really afraid to speak about. The way that she does it, the playwright Alice Birch with the text itself, it's very blunt, very unapologetic. Woman for sale, entire woman for sale. It is the way that it is, and this isn't a matter of opinion, it's just this is how a world is seen through these people's eyes. My choice. Which is really exciting and really frightening at the same time, because then you start to think about what your views on certain things are and what other people might view you and if their views differ or at the end of the show when you're done, how will they look at you? Don't you feel like you've lost all sense on what life is supposed yeah, to be? The way that we speak not only to each other but to the audience, we're speaking to them because more than anything we really want them to start to open their minds and think for themselves too and stop listening to what other people are telling them and just really Take in everything that's happening and going on around them and analyzing and then after that coming to their own conclusion as to what is going on and then then acting upon that. We're telling a story, hey, this is what's this is what's going on, this is what we're living through, this is what we are fighting for, and this is how it's working or not working, and this is how we're accepting it or not accepting it. The following items I refuse to make cupcakes particularly heart-shaped goods. The play builds to a fever pitch as multiple stories and characters converge in a cacophony of voices. It's kind of like we're fighting for the attention of the audience. We want our audience to feel that way, to feel like, oh my God, there's so many things going on. What do I listen to? And why am I listening to this and not this? So, I mean, again, our brain kind of wants to cling on to things that we connect with. It's a play that strips away protective layers to get to raw emotions. And then once the actors, the characters, and the audience are vulnerable, it empowers them to rebuild. I really appreciate plays that do that. And they don't focus upon, you know, one single narrative and one perspective. It's a play that anyone and everyone can relate to, which really draws me in. I absolutely believe that this will create conversation whether you like the play or whether you don't like the play whether you identify or don't identify this play is going to present so many topics and so many situations that have everyone has an opinion on what I want is for people to walk out of the performance and feel this newfound sense of urgency to want to act upon something. I just want them to want to actually, instead of just saying they want to do something, I want them to do it. That's the best kind of interactive theater. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.